Okay, I have my uh, machine kind of restored here to a clean state. I'm going to go ahead and load the latest version of Defense Wall. It's a four-step uh, install process. They give you a, he gives you a nice description of what it actually does there. And I need to restart my computer. So I'll pause the video. Okay, guys, uh, just booted back up. And uh, what we have is our defense wall little window here. You can buy it, you can enter your registration code, or you can try it now. So I'm going to try it now. It gives you full functionality. I think it's for 15 days, I'm not positive. But anyway, I'll go ahead and open up the main interface. It's comprised of four tabs. Um, like I said, I just started using this this week, so I don't, uh, I'll probably have to do a couple of videos on this. I don't know everything exactly perfect yet, but, um, the main ones, uh, the main tab I want to go over right now is untrusted applications, Internet Explorer, uh, Outlook, Instant Messenger, you know, uh, Media Player, a couple other ones down here, the list goes down. Basically, um, anything loaded to these applications is then considered untrusted as well and has very limited rights on what it can do. Uh, the main two being, obviously, Firefox, Internet Explorer, and if you do any kind of uh, P2P downloading. And you can also add untrusted applications. You can remove untrusted applications. You can run it as trusted. Uh, you can enable or disable, I'm not sure what that one does yet, and move item and excludes, I don't know about those yet either. <clears throat> Here's your events log, and the advanced tab, got a couple of options here. You can uh, turn on alarm notifications, I turned that on, it really doesn't do much except turn this red, um, I didn't really need it. Um, you can periodically check uh, applications from the built-in list and set them as untrusted. Automatically remove items from the rollback list. I'll explain that later. Automatically check for updates. If you want to automatically check your program, your core program for updates. And it says, would you like to check your internet settings for updates? Yeah. Trying to hit OK here. Oh, this uh, automatic updates thing is killing me. Hang on a second. All right, so got that out of the way there. Oh my gosh, my mouse just died. <laughs> Funny. Alright, I'm gonna pause the video and uh Um I need to load some batteries in my mouse. I was wondering what was going on there. I couldn't click for some reason. My mouse finally died. Alright. Back into uh the defense wall um options here. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and load up uh, some, some malware and take a look at our untrusted processes. Again, these processes have limited rights um, and, and can really barely modify the system at all. Um, really, they can't do much at all. They can, they can allow us to get on the Internet, look at things, but if I download anything through Internet Explorer, it's not going to be able to modify my system at all. So hang on a second. Let me load up some... Uh, let me get some malware uh, URLs. Okay, I've got three pieces of malware here that uh, are some of the latest, the latest stuff out there. Uh, these are samples taken from a day ago, and you can see I just downloaded these, 
and they're already listed as untrusted executables. I haven't even installed them yet. I can still install them. I can still run this. So now you can see player.exe is another untrusted executable. I'll go ahead and load up the rest. And uh, Defense Wall comes up and gives me a warning on this one. It says Resource I Isolation Warning. Uh, this attempted to get pro this attempted to get uh, access to a protected storage area. Um, I'm going to say Terminate it. So that gives you an example of real time termination. I'm going to go ahead and load up a few more things here. Hold on a second. Okay. I'm going to cancel that. I don't need that. Uh, hang on. All right. So I'm back, and there's a lot of malware that's been uh, loaded into Defense Walls sandbox area, and these executables are actually on my system, but they're not allowed to do anything. Close that stupid email. Okay, but they're not allowed to do anything. They're basically just sitting there. They have limited rights to actually modify my system at all. So, um, you can see I have no fake system alerts down here. If I load up my Internet Explorer, I should be able to browse the Internet, no problems. Yep, go to whatever site I want. All this malware is on the system, but it's basically brain dead. It, it's not allowed to do anything. And I hope I'm saying that right, but that's the way I've interpreted it, and that's the way it's kind of proven itself. So I'm going to start another video. I'll be right back.